Hello everybody, welcome back to RimWorld Crash Landed. Yeah, here we are, and you might be wondering what this big old room is. Well, this is our, hopefully, decent kill box, pretty much. It's just our defense that is, uh, you know, we're going to be getting some raids from the Empire and stuff since we have a hostile, uh, we're hostile with them, pretty much. We're, we're not in good relations with them for some reason. And uh, so, yeah, they're going to be sending in a whole bunch of people that are quite deadly. And to be honest, uh, the defenses that we had before were not ideal. And so here we are. I decided to build a big room, and we've got a huge line of traps and sandbags. So hopefully any group of people that go through here will just, the traps will finish them before we even have to shoot them. So we'll see how this goes. I, I think it will work quite well. I think it's a decent setup. I've got some sandbags being built. I don't have the cloth for the, at the moment. So I'm gonna have to wait for that, which we've ha have a little bit growing and hopefully that will be able to finish this stuff. But I've got the main one right here by the doors. And then we can have a few snipers here and then occasional, maybe snipers over here. Uh, I have it spread out so not everyone is, you know, in the same line. Because that would be not very ideal if we, you know, someone threw a grenade and everyone died right there. So I'm, I'm playing it smart, I think, hopefully. And I'm putting sandbags all around the room in every corner so then everyone's kind of spread out and hopefully that way once a enemy walks in right through here we'll be good what is that i don't know what that is but um yeah nothing new really we've got some mechs being built right now we've got the ag two agrahands i think right no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. two agrahands and a lifter and at the mo and a militor don't forget about the, about the militor uh, it seems like we've got our raid coming in, but in here we have a, what am I making? I think right now I'm making a construct box. Yeah. Yeah. Constructoid. I don't think I've made it yet, but actually something is in there. I don't remember what's in there. We might tell jet right at the moment. Oh yeah. So there's nothing in there at the moment. Nice. So now we've got a mechanoid cluster. Okay, well, that was to be expected. Uh, probably not very, very good. Um, so it's a dormant one until disturbed. We'll see. We'll see what comes, I guess. What is going to land here? That is a lot. That's not a whole lot, actually, to be honest. We've got a Scorcher. We've got a Tesseron. I don't... Uh, yeah, I think I know what that is. We've got a High Shield, and I think we got a Low Shield, probably. No, I think just a High Shield. Okay. So, the only way that I think we can get rid of this is taking out the unstable power cells. I think that's the only way that I, I think we can get rid of it. Uh, well, it's not the only way, but if we, I think, so the high shield makes it, uh, that protects from like mortars and stuff, not bullets. That's good. That's good. So then we can stand over somewhere. They got quite a range, don't they? This one, that one could see us. Hopefully we can have a sniper come in and snipe the unstable power cell and be able to just blow that turret up. And then that allows us to hopefully stand in a spot where it wouldn't be able to see us and we can just shoot. Well, if we could see it, it could see us. So I guess that's that doesn't really work. But we can aggro the little mechanoids here and we could just run back in and they can hopefully get killed by the traps that is where we are at the moment we've got a decent amount of food which is I'm, I'm very thankful for we do not have a lot of components so when it comes time to making any kind of electrical stuff i'm kind to be trying to be 
a little bit like more. What what's the word? Res I don't know. I'm just trying not to waste the resources and build a whole bunch of random things. I'm being smart with it. Um, so w hopefully a trader will come through that has a whole bunch and we could just buy all of it. I would really enjoy that. We don't have like, we have a decent amount of steel, but not like an insane amount. Uh, we can always mine more. I'm sure there's plenty probably throughout this mountain. So once we do that, we'll be all right. But at the moment, they're, they're continuing building blocks. I don't need to do that at the moment. Uh, we've also got Burton here in prison. We lost the other prisoner because my warden wasn't on one priority. And so he pretty much starved to death. So that was a waste of a prisoner. But I decided to throw Bert in here so then that way we can convert him because his needs are, you know, he's kind of upset. He's very, very upset, actually, because he... Well, obviously, he's going through smoke leaf withdrawal, but no conquest. Uh, prisoner died, led by independent, all of that stuff. So they don't, they don't, he's not very good. He's not very ideal whatsoever. So we're going to have to, you guys, really? Why are you deciding to come through here? You better not waste my traps. You already did. You used one of them. How dare you, elephant? I mean, if you do die... Uh, that's a pretty decent amount of food, so I'm not complaining, but yeah, we've got to get rid of this. That is our priority at the moment. I'm going to shoot this. Nope. Okay. Okay. Every, everyone run inside, please. Goodwin decided to shoot the elephant instead of the, the unstable power cell. So that, that was, uh, not very ideal. Was it everyone run in and shoot the elephant? Shoot the elephant! Back up, guys. That elephant is deadly. Okay. All right. We're good. Oh, man. That was that was not what I wanted to do whatsoever. Goodwin, I need you back out here, please. I would really like you to be out there. Eleanor, can you uh, finish that elephant, please? Finish off elephant. Thank you. Good job. Uh, can you now hopefully not shoot an elephant and shoot the unstable power cell? Okay, well, we angered them now. Okay, we've hit the turret. Hopefully the turret won't be able to hit us at all. The mechs aren't really coming and pushing us, which is very good. But hopefully we can take out that. I would just want to hit the power cell just a few times. Get it to lower health, but I don't think we'll be able to. They're wandering at the moment, so I don't think they're going to attack. So that's that's good. I like that. I'm going to send Goodwin in for the moment. He's not. He, they're not doing their job. She's not doing their job very well. So we've hit the turret almost like we've almost destroyed it, not even targeting it. So... It would probably be best if I had Jet take the sniper and start laying some gunfire down since Jet is the best shooter in here. Uh, Goodwin's only a six, so it's not like it's incredible. So it would probably be best if we had Jet take the sniper and be able to, you know, hopefully have better aim. But we'll see how that goes. We got Jet running out on accident. Didn't even mean to. That was a very, very close one. Could you not run a gun, please? I need you guys to actually just run inside. We've got the Scorcher coming, and we could... Oh, man, he got tagged right there. Hopefully that door shuts in time. Please. Thank you. Um, Jet, you need to get healed. There we go. One's down. Uh, Jet, you're going to need some healing very badly. Not romance. I don't need a romance. Um... Who's a doctor? So we've got Goodwin and Rue as the second one. Um, so sadly, Goodwin, I need you to be able to self-tend to yourself. So that way you don't bleed out or anything like that. And Goodwin, I need you to... I'm waiting for the medical treatment. How's this one doing? That one died right on the first one. So that's, that's very ideal. So now we just got to worry about the turrets. And that should be... Should be easy enough to take care of. So I think we're I think we're pretty solid on that one. Rue, you better not be dumb. Why do you go through that one? There's a per like there's 
Man, I just don't understand you guys. You guys do some weird things. That's for sure. You just decide to go this way. All the way down here. Instead of there. But you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, that's perfectly fine, okay? Whatever you want to do, Rue. No, stay up there. Actually. Military bot, can you please, like... Okay, Jet took out that one. Can we shoot that, please? Jet's okay now. Once we get that one, this one's not targeting us, thankfully. So hopefully we'll be able to have uh, Jet shoot this one. But it might damage these ones first, but I'm not I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, just hopefully we could get this one as soon as possible if Jet is okay. There we go. All right, nice. Good job, Jet. You did your duties there. We got a component out of that and some plasteel. Um, we got a mech node, which is the what? That's the... It's uh, like power, right? Am I wrong? Can be destructed. We've captured intact the blah, blah, blah. We'll uninstall it. We'll take it. If we claim that shield. The thing doesn't... Yeah, it's shut down. So we'll just deconstruct it. I think we'll just deconstruct all of this here. Except for the good, good thing that we need. But we've got that one. So I feel so much better about that now. And now there's probably going to be some more difficult ones coming in. Probably fairly quickly. But that's perfectly fine with me. I'm ready for whatever. As long as they don't land within our walls. Which I don't know if they do or not. Do they have to like... Does my area have to be a home zone? Because I've got a lot of empty spaces around here. So, like, does it have to be a home zone? Or does it not matter if they could just land in my area? I have no clue, and I hope that doesn't ever happen. Because that would be... That'd be awful. That'd be so bad. So, hopefully, that doesn't happen. Man, what a catch. You know, just imagine fishing. And you... End up catching eight things of mayo. You know, how wonderful would that be? I don't like mayo, to be honest, so um, I wouldn't enjoy that. But, you know, if someone that really enjoyed mayo, yeah, that'd, be, that'd be some luck right there. Just saying. Things are going great, guys. Everything is going great. Rue, I tried to install the peg leg. That failed. Okay, that, that sucks, you know, but we've got a lot of chickens that are dead. I'm trying to butcher them before they spoil and rot because they're about to. But yeah, we've got some uh, packaged survival meals being made at the moment, which is very ideal. I like that. I like it a lot. I like being able to have some extra food that are in the background and doesn't spoil. And then that way, when we do decide to travel, we can easily just have some packaged meals. Another thing that I would like to point out is, um, just a minute. Um, I've got like two chicken statues and it's, it's perfect because we have a huge chicken farm. You know, we're just the chicken colony. All right. I mean, look at it. Look how many chickens are in there. And look at how many chickens are in like just so many. So many chickens. It's just crazy. I just wanted to say that. Ah, uh, we've got a good old mechanoid cluster coming back in up here. Thankfully it's not a spot that we really go to. So we should be good there. I made a cool little little path. It, it look I think it looks cool. Made a little cool path over into the mine. It's just, it's all about the aesthetic, okay? He, that's, that, that's all it's about. You know what? You, you know what? We're going to make this less, less blocky and make it more round. How about that? Yeah. That'll look good. That'll look great. Yeah, you know what? I mean, you can't, got to do it there as well. And it's look it looks great. Yep. See? It's all about aesthetic. That's what that's what we gotta do. Making it look good, making it feel good here. That's that's what we're doing. 
All right, let me, let, let's get back on, on track. Let's... Oh, man, what is that? So that is a weather controller um, fog. Got a good old auto cannon, which is not ideal whatsoever at all. I don't think we have any snipers that can reach that far. Got two Militor bots. Three, actually. And then a Scorcher. And we got a regular little thingy there. I don't think this can see through that. I don't, I don't think so. Um, so if we could take out this little guy with a sniper, I don't think our snipers reach that far, to be honest. I don't think so. But we can always try. And we can always activate him whenever, you know, set it off. It's not like it's going to... Fog isn't, like, like too bad. Just because the... Uh, what, am, what am I trying to say? We don't have any solar pa panels 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 uh so it's not really a bad thing fear pods make it a uh, swarm attack in their settlement she wants to signal them to distract them a mechanoid cluster will come a sun blocker countdown activator unstable power cell two mech nodes four mini slug two auto charge thingies um no i'm good i don't no, i'm good sorry about that i know that you want me to do that but i'm I'm not going to do that. A cave explorer named Savage has arrived and wants to join the colony. Sure. Why not? Yeah, we can always use extra hands. Let's. We might have to make a few more bedrooms, but that's fine. Hopefully you didn't come up here. You didn't. Good. Hello, Savage. How are you? You're in the same... Uh, ideology thankfully so that's awesome you are good at mining and animals and social welcome to the team savage um rue has some tattered apparel that's fine though we're all right there um yeah we're gonna have to take this out sometime i don't know if it activates it's just sleeping right now so well, we'll see how that goes. Savage, I'm going to have to do all of your little duties. Oh, come on, Bert. What is what's up with you, man? He wants to uh escape. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Well, yeah, actually you're just going to walk through the door because that's that's what happens. Um so we're just going to have everyone come and attack you because that's just what we do here. You just gotta, you know, you're breaking out. Oh man, man, Jet didn't, Jet didn't care whatsoever. Jet just ended it, said, screw you. <laughs> All right, well, sorry, Bert. Um, that, that sucks. You were part of the team, so I am going to build you a sarcophagus. So we will do that. Why are you down? You're fine. Dormant self-charging. Um, I'm just gonna have you guys work now because you're you're fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this out as soon as possible, or I might just wake it up, and then with the next raid, hopefully the raiders will go and attack that instead. But we'll have to see. We should be getting a raid fairly soon. I'm also starting to fill in the kind of swampy areas, marshy soil, because it's just it's just in the way. With this all filled, I can um, expand the farm just a little bit, and I can also um, I'm I'm gonna need to. Well, now I really don't need to now that Bert's gone, but now I can make an extension over here for the building, the bedrooms. Man, you walk. You walk slow. Yeah, you walk really slow. It's because both of you, you're missing a leg and then the other legs hurt. Well, this isn't a prison room anymore. So I might as well turn all of these back into medical. Not for prisoners. There we go. Now it's medical. And I might honestly move one of the... The, you know what? I have the wood. What am I saying? I don't need to move anything. I'm going to set up these so that way 
that will be medical use only. And all of these, I'm going to just turn off medical. I don't need medical in here. What would I use? Um, is it raw resources, plant matter? Nope. Uh, manufactured. Drugs and medicine. We don't need medicine in here. And then on these ones, we'll just have only medical. And Eleanor over here is uh, pregnant again. This is the third time that she's pregnant. And so hopefully Eleanor will be able to have her baby. The other two were just very unlucky and it, it, it sucked. It sucked for Eleanor for sure. And so this will be for Bert because Bert is, he was part of the colony. So we're going to give him a proper burial. Thank you. And then we've got Eleanor's first baby in here. No, that's Cusky, actually. Yeah. Cusky. Sorry, Cusky. Shit poster. Wow, I didn't even know what your last name was. What a last name. That's crazy. Okay, these two need to stop. Link the settings. And I'm going to select the preset medical. Boink. So then it's only medical in there. All right, guys, with that, having a mech cluster, mechanoid cluster. I know, I know the name, okay? Um, with that and being attacked by some baboon, um, what, I'm stuck, okay. Um, being attacked by a baboon, I'm going to end it there. So thank you so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the Rim World and you want to see some more in the future, please consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the like button as well. Comment down below if you want just anything, even saying hi, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Right, Eleanor? Right. Bye.